Yo guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you all how you can optimize your PC so you can get the maximum FPS and lowest input delay and lowest ping in the new Fortnite season. I'm going to be going through everything that you can do to lower your input delay, higher your FPS and lower your ping so you can get that best feeling while you're playing in the new season. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to be doing is optimizing our Fortnite settings. So to do this, head over to your settings and inside here, you want to make sure you're playing on full screen. I'm playing windowed full screen just for the purpose of this video, but make sure you're playing full screen. Make sure you have VSync turned off. Make sure your frame rate limit is set to your monitor's refresh rate. Your rendering mode here, make sure if you're on Nvidia, you're playing on legacy performance. And if you're on AMD, you're playing on the new performance mode. Once you've done all that, scroll down until you get to these settings here and make sure your view distance is on near, and your textures are on low and your meshes are also on low. Then just at the bottom, you'll see Nvidia reflex low latency. Make sure this is on on plus boost and click apply. It might ask you to restart. Just click decline for now. Head over to the game settings here. Make sure you're playing on the right region. Make sure it's not on auto. Make sure you're actually playing on the region as this gives you the lowest ping in game. Then scroll down to the very bottom and make sure all of these energy saving modes are turned off. Once you've done that, click apply. You can restart your Fortnite and those are your Fortnite settings fully optimized. The next thing we're going to be doing is some Windows settings so that we can increase our FPS inside Fortnite. So click Windows I to open up the settings, head over to system on the left, head over to notifications and make sure notifications are turned off and you can turn do not disturb on if you want to. Head back to focus and make sure all of these boxes inside focus are unticked. Head back and scroll down to about, then scroll down to advanced system settings. And right here where it says performance, click on settings and click adjust for best performance. Then click on custom. And the only things that you need to enable inside here are smooth edges of screen fonts, show thumbnails instead of icons. And if you want animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, it just gives it that effect when you're closing tabs. And I kind of like that, so I like having this enabled. It doesn't really reduce your performance. So once you've done that, click apply, wait for it to load, and you can close off these advanced system settings. The next thing we're going to be doing is heading down to gaming, heading over to game bar, making sure game bar is turned off. You don't want to use this as it can decrease your FPS. Then head on over to graphics. And right here where you see your game, you want to click on here, click options, and make sure you click high performance. Once you've done that, click save. And then at the top here, you can click on change default graphics settings. Make sure you're using hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and optimize for windowed games. Make sure both of these are enabled. Then you can head back one, go back to the system, click on game mode and make sure you're using game mode. Once you've done that, head on down to privacy and security, head on, on to recommendations and offers and make sure everything inside here is turned off. Then head over to Windows Update and check for updates. If you've got any Windows updates, just make sure you do those so your system is fully up to date and you're not behind on any of the latest drivers. But before I do go any further with this video, I just want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking optimization service where you can get all of these different tweaks on screen for very cheap prices. And if you use my code when checking out, you get 15% off your order. So the tweaks are even cheaper. So make sure you go and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. And by using these extreme tweaks right here for $30, I actually gained a 30% performance boost by just using these tweaks. So I would definitely go and recommend checking those out in the description. The next thing you want to do is search for mouse. So click the Windows key and search for mouse settings. And make sure you're just using a default cursor. So for me, I'm using the cross. Make sure you're not using anything fancy as this can reduce your delay in game. The next thing you want to do is head on over to additional mouse settings, pointer options, and make sure you untick enhance pointer precision. This disables mouse acceleration inside windows, and you don't want this as it does make your game sensitivity go slower and faster as you're moving your mouse like this, and you want this disabled. So make sure you disable this. And then the next thing you want to do to disable it is search for the control panel, open this up, head over to ease of access, click on ease of access center here. Click make the mouse easier to use, set up mouse keys and drag this bar all the way down to slow. Once you've done that, click apply and OK. You can close off the control panel and the mouse settings as your mouse acceleration will be fully disabled. The next thing we're going to be doing is searching for system configuration and opening this up. And inside here, click boot. Make sure timeout is on five or three seconds. No GUI boot is ticked. 
then click on advanced options, tick number of processes, drop this down and click the maximum number. Once you've done that, click OK, apply and OK. It might ask you to restart, just click no as you can do this at the end of the video. Now we're going to be doing some network settings to lower our ping in Fortnite. So the first thing you want to do is search for the command prompt and run this as an administrator. And once this is open, you want to type in ipconfig space slash flush DNS, click enter, then ipconfig space slash resolve. Then you want to do ipconfig space slash renew. And that is all the things you need to do inside here. Now we're going to be searching for the control panel again. So click the windows key and search for the control panel. Inside here, head over to network and internet. Click on network and sharing center at the top. Click on your ethernet or your Wi-Fi here. Head over to properties. Click on internet protocol version four, configure. And inside here, we're going to be changing some settings to lower our ping in Fortnite. The first thing we're going to be doing is making sure all of these IPv4 and six settings are disabled. So go down and make sure all of these are disabled. Then at the bottom, wake on magic packet, make sure that's disabled and wake on pattern match is disabled. Speed and duplex, make sure this is set to the max. So either 1.0 or 2.5 gigabytes. Then scroll up to the top where you see flow control, make sure RX and TX are enabled. Interrupt moderation is enabled. And if you have interrupt moderation rate, make sure it's set to medium or high. I don't have it right now, but if your driver supports that, make sure it's set to medium or high. Then head over to power management and make sure all of these boxes are unticked. And once you've done that, click OK. Your network might go out for a minute. If it does, it'll come back on. You can exit out of the control panel. And those are your network settings optimized for Fortnite. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If it did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you guys want a personal tweaking session with me, make sure to join my Discord server. I'll leave that link in the description as well. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.